Hello everyone and welcome to my first video on MATLAB. MATLAB is a very powerful tool used in uh, engineering and, and other fields for uh, uh, think of it as kind of a super Excel tool. Um, MATLAB stands for Matrix Laboratory and uh, it's a very powerful tool for doing uh, data analysis and signal analysis and things like that. Uh, when you first open MATLAB you're going to see a interface that looks uh, similar to what I have here. Um, this is uh, version 2012b and, uh, and basically m most of your work is going to occur right here in the command window. Um, you have uh, uh, your fold, the fold, whatever folder you're working in, will, will uh, sh all the files in that will show up over here. And as you create uh, functions and uh, and what's called dot m m files, which are, are kind of like uh, little mini programs scripts, uh, those will show up in the folder over here. Uh, as you create variables and arrays, uh, they're going to show up over here and you're going to see a history of your commands over in this window. So to get started um, we can, uh, I'm going to use uh, a little bit of a uh, signal analysis uh, and don't worry if you're not quite following what's going on with the signal analysis, uh, I can cover that later or you can scoot over to my uh, website spastech.net and uh, I'll, uh, I'll cover that over there. So to get started, uh, we're going to create some variables, and the first one I'm going to create is called fm, and I can name it whatever I want. Um, I'm going to use fm for the frequency of my modulating signal, and I'm going to make that 1000. Hit a semi semicolon, and boom, I have a, over here my workspace now. You can see I have something named fm with a value of 1000, and uh, if it's a single value, the min max will be the same, of course. Or I could I could call it whatever I want. I could call a cow equals uh, three thousand. And when you're creating just a single value, you don't have to use the semicolon. So I can just do that, and it does the same thing. And I uh, just hit enter there, and uh, so now I have a variable called cow, and uh, it's a value of, of uh, three thousand. Uh, and now I could I could even say chicken equals cow and now I have a variable called chicken that uh, has the same value as cow so that's that's how that works but uh, on to a little bit more complex things I'm going to create something else called FC and I'm going to make that 20,000 Now I have uh, FM and FC, and FC is going to stand for frequency of my carrier. Um, if you know where I'm going, uh, we're going to be creating an amplitude modulated uh, signal here. Um, next, I'm going to create an array, and uh, to do that, there's a format we use. I'm going I'm to call it T because it's going to be array, an array that represents a time sample, and it's going to start off at zero. That's just how I do it there. And it's going to increment in increments of 1 to the negative 6. So it, that's my interval uh, for, for my, my t variable. It's going to increment by 0 0.000001. So that's uh, for microseconds. And it's going to go to a value of 2 minus 3, which is 2 milliseconds, uh, minus uh, 1 e minus 6. So what that will do for me is it's, uh, it's going to create a what would be two periods of a 1000 hertz signal. Uh, so it's 2 milliseconds worth of time in 1 microsecond increments. So it's going to create an array uh, of uh, that is uh, uh, that time interval. So now you can see that showed up over here, and you can see it's uh, uh, 2,000. Uh, it's one one value times 2,000 
um, uh, length. So, and see minimum value zero, and the maximum value is 0 0.002, which is what I explained down here. So, zero to two milliseconds. In, and if I open that up, you'd see that it is in microsecond increments. So I can double click on the, any va value over here and it'll show up over here. And this m will look really very familiar to you if you're working in Microsoft Excel. And you can see how the values are incrementing. I'll close that for now. Okay, so now I have a frequency of my modulating signal, frequency of my carrier signal and I have uh, a time interval and I'm going to go ahead and create my uh, my modulating signal which will be a voltage uh, and I'm going to call it VM for modulating voltage and it's going to be sine of uh, 2 times pi times FM for my frequency, so that's my frequency there, times T for my time interval. And you see now I have a voltage, uh, uh, a VM uh, variable over here, That's an, it's an array of the same size as T, and basically what it's going to do is for every uh, T it's going to calculate um, a value. And you can see it goes from minus 1 the one. Now I'm going to create one uh, called VC and it's going to be same format except going to use one variable that's different and you might guess it. It's going to be FC instead of FM and everything else looks the same and uh, it ends up having a slightly different min and max. That's okay. So what if I want to look at, at what those two uh, arrays look like visually? Well, I can plot them with the word plot, and then the first value I put in here is my x uh, axis, and, which is going to be t, and then I can put vm as my y axis, semicolon, and it's going to plot it. And there you go, you have a sine wave, and you as I mentioned before, it's two periods, so one period and two periods. So from zero to two milliseconds. And uh, that's pretty straightforward. Now, you might guess, since the other signal is uh, 20,000 hertz, that it's going to look, I'm going to have uh, over the same period of time, uh, oh, messed up. VC. So over the same period of time, it's going to have several additional cycles. Oh, it's uh, back behind this. There we go. Oh, no. Okay, uh, I, mess I lost my uh, window there, but there, there's, uh, there's that. Okay, so. I plotted both of those so you can see what those look like. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, multiply uh, those, combine those two signals. And I can do that. I'm going to call it uh, voltage for double sideband equals, and this is be VM dot PC. And what that what that's going to do is it's going to multiply uh, for every uh, uh, it's going to go down each uh, segment of the array and it will multiply the values against each other right there. And boom, I have that. Now, I, if I go ahead and I plot that uh, for the same time interval t, the voltage for my double sideband then uh, I'll get something that looks like a AM signal. Oh, and did it to me again. There you go. Um, so there you have it. Now if we were to uh, overlay these, you see my, my FM would do this. 
my frequency modulation, that curve would do this and over here. So you can see that's in there. And then you have the carrier, which is the up and down that's going up here. And that's all there is to it. And so to review, um, we can type in any name we want for a variable, as used equals to assign a value, and it'll show up over here. Uh, we can create an array by giving it a start value, an increment, and an end value. Uh, and it'll create a, uh, an array. And then we can uh, do uh, functions on those arrays, and we can plot those values. So, uh, so those are some of the basics of uh, MATLAB. And I uh, hope you come back for uh, uh, next video, and uh, we'll uh, do a little bit more. Thanks a lot.